What do you have? I'm go Good to see. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Glower Chestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. Oh. 
I want to see. I have. I should. I want I have received it well it, oh. it is worth I will leave for Sluttinghamshire today Good they will be pleased and Dane live in peace. I expected nothing less for land under Hemingway Jarl's rule. You're a long way from Norway, Wolfkiss. Trick we spoke true. You have come to England. I have, and I mean to stay. Did you demand that night? It's Nottingham. It will be good to see Billy again. the meat! Eivor has come to Snottingham! Skull! Come, raise a cup! Make sure the supplies are secured. We may set off at any moment. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trygvi, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. <laughs> But a healthy Jarl beard, it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Billy's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Heminger Jarl looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Billy and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Billy's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Hemming a Jarl is an ox. So he is. 
and he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come, the swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. Traveled far, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Go without hate at it. Ready the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. <laughs> Remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth's fire. But I do not remember you tell telling us how you came to serve Hemming a yarn. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. Sail out. I suppose I was the age you are now. Scott. Winter and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family incurred a loud work of death. Picks ashore! Protect the convoy! Sail in! Can't race the sailing. These supplies bring fire to the Ukathor siege. Wolfkist. The convoy is unscathed. Hemminger Jarl will be pleased. Sail down! Sail I cannot leave Hemminger's convoy undefended. We must row in these waters.
Ship here. Hold on to I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Willy and Heminger Jarl will be pleased to see you. Sheepskin. That there is Eivor the Wolfkist. Eivor! Hail! We have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. What do you do? Hail, friend. The Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Hemingayal. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifor. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It's good to see you again. Uh, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon, before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Trigfi rides for Stoneberg, should any Picts escape. It will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. But I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Billy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorpe. Trick V and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower their war chief's weapon in hand drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? We can snatch glory together. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pick chief is the prize. 
old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Hemingersons! Bring victory today! For tomorrow, we feast! <laughs> The pit chief hides behind his men like a cow. The pit chief hides behind his men like a cow. No doubt he will be well fortified. Look for him on high ground. Send your gun, okay? And it's your look! Stim that sword!
The spear is mine, Billy. And so too a blood of your father's mead. You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> and they love my son all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son. He thinks me immortal, because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me, or you, Heminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Billy's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Both... Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer.
Billy. There you are. All right. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me how to fight empty air, Billy. And trees and snowdrift and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once. And a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast, I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, our stick. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen. Is that what you call your house? <laughs> Stoneber, was Trigve not sent there by father to help? Let's go! Eivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Ten... Thank you. Move! Move! Get to safety! Save my wife, please! Leave me be!
you see, Sunan. Quickly, everyone! Get the wounded to take me! Move quickly, please! Eivor! Eivor, where are you? Get over here! Leave your things! Get to trick me! You'll be safe with him! Billy! Where are you? Answer me! To clear a path. I will get the man, Eivor. You carry the woman. If I will have to wait, you are staying here today. <coughs> oh, thank to your father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. Draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Billy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Billy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same ass stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Billy lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? You braced yourself for what is to come. I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Willie myself.
Sounds right. The Kinder downfall is beautiful. Now where is he? I need your eyes, my friend. Found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. Have a look at my father, a battle worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's... If to man. Billy. You need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You would always be welcome to live and prosper with us, but that is a matter between you and your father. I could make the old man understand. But I have no desire to be Jarl, and he must accept that. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. You are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! I'll see him before he goes.
Many good teachers, Heminger Jarl. You chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. A dirty-haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire.
drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, oh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came. The celebration. The pyre's construction is underway. Good. I play the all the, the flat is. I, I will look for you. Trick is. I must be away for a sh When did you? <laughs> I brought a key. Very much. I mean, I just. That if trick we. <laughs> Tostics, verde. This is an excellent shield. And here, an set. I, I, is shield now. <laughs> this is an excellent shield, Soleva. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. Value is solitude, living in a hole such as this.
Lord's beard. You are a difficult man to find. Uh. Heminger Jarl is dead. I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heminger Jarl. The stones. Heminger Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Yes, Heminger's heart was steady, as it was large. You have not yet answered me. How will you remember him? By his determination to... The mark of vague Visir. Sights never lost. Is this your decision? How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heminger Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place. That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. Heminger will be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Billy has found his spear. <laughs> <laughs> 